Um, it's it's time. It's that it's that time of the season. There's like a day left of the season. I'm late as fuck to this. Season review. It's it's time for the season review of what season is it? Oh, season four. I, I chapter four, season four. I can't believe we're in chapter four. God damn, we're in chapter four. Technically, we should still be in chapter three. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is crazy. We we are. Yeah, dude. It, it's 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 really getting crazy. Shit is getting wild. But. We do got some cool shit. We got, we got some cool. We got, we got some real cool shit. All right, map. Let's check out the map. If we can go, I forgot they changed the fucking thing. But you can go to the map now. I think. I right, can you? Yeah, it's like right here. It makes it a lot easier for me. What is this little dot in the? F what is this dot? Move. Get out of here. All right, whatever. This is the whole map. So they had three new POIs out of over the course of the season. Three new POIs this season. Honestly, all the three POIs. I was expecting like a whole ass biome. But even though we didn't get like a whole new biome, we did still get like the desert trees. Like all the, um, like kind of futuristic a little bit. It feels a little futuristic, doesn't it? Kind of like a chapter two, season two remake, but it really was made really good. Like it was really freaking good. Also, there's something I'm missing from these. And it's like just gameplay. Just gameplay in general in this. So let's also, I guess the build up. We can also talk about the build up to the season. I'm gonna be completely honest. I do not remember it. I do. Oh yeah, we had the apparatus thing that had the stars and stuff, and it was aligning. To me, it wasn't that great of a build up. It, I would definitely give the build up a little bit, like a like a four. <laughs> the build the build up wasn't the worst. I'll give it like a seven. I did like the apparatus thing. That was cool. I always like rifts in the sky, so that always, they always take my money for that. But the map itself. Really, they did really good. I rated, like, last season's map at 9 out of 10. I'm probably also going to give this one a 9 out of 10. I would change my rating to, like, an 8 for that last map. I kind of hate the jungle biome now. But, like, the new biome, I really like the new trees. It is a weird fucking placement for some of these people. I was like, why is it here? Why is this here? And why is this all the way down here? They, kinda, they fucked up my drop spot, but they made it even better. So I like that. But anyways, really cool shit. Love all the stuff they have here. We can talk about the gameplay. The gameplay, I don't have too much for this category. I just added it now. The gameplay, pretty pretty good. I did like the Rocket Ram when it first came out. It just kind of got worse over time. No one really uses it anymore. It's pretty bad now. That's, uh, like, if you're not in... Like, if, if you're not in competitive... You probably still use them, but like now, I, I don't think really anyone uses that shit. Like they, they just suck. They just suck ass now. Like they're terrible. But like movement was pretty good at the start of the season. Man, getting those mythic items were insane. That MK is still amazing. The, that MK is so good still. Like all those mythic items coming back from the vault, kind of like as a thing. It's like, oh yeah, we are gonna go back to the OG season. <laughs> To me, it kind of it kind of made it obvious to me. it was to me it was kind of obvious we were going back to some OG times to me, but like did it really good on the gameplay? I'm still gonna give it like an eight because it wasn't like obviously don't never like there probably has been seasons that has been perfect. There's most chapter one seasons, some chapter two, and like no chapter three or four seasons that are like that perfect. Let's go over to battle pass. Uh, of course, favorite section, the longest section of the video. We got the first page with Nolan shits. Um, this first page is like a like a three out of ten. Yeah, this page sucks. I'm sorry, it's not good. This page they got a little bit better. I don't see his ugly ass face as much, but it's still pretty bad. It's like a three. It's like a four. This page is like a four. And you also get V bucks. Oh, you get two V bucks here. Okay, this page is a four then. All right, the um P Piper pace um a little bit better than. Nolan Chance, definitely like a five. I do like this emo. It's not bad. Never mind. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a five. Um, this style is honestly probably worse. I, I honestly don't really care about this style. Gli no one uses these type of gliders anymore. It's like a four. Shit, trash. All right, so uh, fish stick. Best fucking best part. Of this battle pass around near. Not I wouldn't say the best best, but it's still really good. 
Yeah, it's what they, yeah, it's it's Fistic, the new Meowskulls for this season. Remember that? Remember him? <laughs> yeah, really. But um, still, yeah, this this one is not that bad as bad. It's definitely like a like a seven. I'll be honest, this 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 version is kind of hard too. I give it an eight. I do like I do like this page. Looting screens aren't even that bad either. They're pretty good. This page is honestly kind of diabolical. Of course, it's the anime page. But it's just the text that got me. Look at what the Epic did. They put fucking oo oo there. Look at this. What the fuck is that face? The fuck? What the fuck? The, the fucking oo. Yeah, this page is like a 2. Not It would honestly be like a 4 because the skin isn't even that bad. This loading screen is actually not too bad. I actually like the loading screen for once. Like the little cat. I like... I, 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 there are a lot of cats. A lot of cats. I see a running theme here. But they, like the actual... Like, Mei is not even that bad of a skin. Like, she really is not even that bad. I would honestly give it a 5. But for the fact that the descriptions Epic wrote here are just diabolical. It's like a fucking 3. This page is a lot better. I do like this version. But it, it's like the gaming one. Yeah. Again, it, it's the gaming one. I do... Oh no, oh, well, yeah, fuck that. That's, this is a drone. I actually have not used this. I might use this. This is a cool glider. I haven't seen it. I probably, I'll actually use it. I might use it. Yeah, this page is like a, this page is a lot better. This is like one of the better anime skins, in, in, anime inspired skins. I'll give it this one a five. I'll give this one like a, actually, if we're not talking about the description, this page is a five, this one's a six. This page Antonia. Antonia has been like kind of the one off skins, but still it's like she's still really cool. I like her. She always had some like cool thing with her. I'll give this page a six. This page is a lot a little bit better with the seven. I I mean I like the colors in the other page, but this one's still not bad. I'll give it a I'll give this page a seven. Back lane's cool. Loading screen's not that bad either. The emotes, whatever. You know. Emotes are always whatever. Um the copy lane page. This is the one page I've been waiting for. This emote kind of cringe, but, like, you know, this guy was random. Like, who the fuck expected Kabi Lame here? No one thought he was going to be here. I'll give the Kabi Lame page, and also with this, with this fucking, um, thing, the, the, whatever this image. Everyone was going crazy over this image at some point, but, um, Yeah, I'll give this one, I'll give this image, um, and also, like, the, I'll give the whole page around, like, um, uh, I don't know what to give it, like, a five. It's not that bad. It's kind of mid. This one's, I do like the tr traditional copy. I do like this. This is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The blades and stuff. Whole kind of thing. I like, the, I like the... I like the banner. It's actually like one of, a, a better banner. This crown thing is cool. It's like a seven. It's a big step up. Here we got Kado Thorn. I really like this tier 100. This hairstyle is kind of fucked though. Like th this is like kind of weird. It's not that good of a hairstyle. I'll be completely honest with you. Kind of weird. But get past that. This page is like a six. I really like Kado Thorn. The tier 100. Great tier 100 by the way. It's like a transform metamorphosis. It's great. I it's a Revenant Cottle Thorn, the Four Nightmares version, I guess you can call it. Did I really like this. This is a really good tier one hundred. Like, they did really good with this. Wrath Wings, the 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 wing stuff, like that's so cool. Then I'm gonna give this page a nine. It's the best page in the battle pass by far. Best page in the battle pass by far. The battle pass is actually not that bad. Quest rewards or whatever, bonus rewards, they're eh. Never really cared about them. But Okay, this battle pass is a lot better than last season's. I'll give it like a seven. It big step up from from the jungle season. Updates. The updates this season were pretty questionable. The first update, I literally cannot remember shit that they added. I literally don't remember what they added in the first update of the season. Do you do you guys remember what they added? Cause I don't. I don't remember. So that means the update probably didn't mean shit. I mean. I think they added a little, like, some little things here and there. I don't remember. The second update, they added um, Ahsoka Tano. That is Ahsoka Tano. This stupid-ass staff. Ahsoka, I'm sorry. This has had this had to be the most boring Star Wars live. I didn't give a shit about it. I don't care about it. 
Oh shit! Sure, I'm, I'm just gonna go on my YouTube and j just just to see whatever happened. Also, um, you should subscribe. I I, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. You should subscribe. Yeah, I, I hope you you better have. Oh yeah, the first update was the um the the Deku Part Two, the the My Hero Academia Part Two. Yeah, I forgot about that. It was actually not that bad. They did really good on the second collab with the ice wall. I actually kind of like the item, but it's also kind of unusable. I don't really give a shit about it. I always get flung off every time I use it, so it's kind of broken. Kind of fixed that, but at the same time, doesn't matter. We're going back to OG anyways. That first update, I'll give like a six. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too like bad. It was kind of mid, to be honest. It was like in the middle. Not too bad. Not not too good either. But um, the second update was the Ahsoka Tano update. Didn't even post a video on this update because I didn't give a fuck. I didn't post a video on the Fortnite Mares one. Okay, listen, that was school. But I did not give a fuck about the second update. The second update was so boring that I didn't care. It was just Star Wars. That thing was a two. Shit. Fortnite Mares, which I'm going to get to next. If we're talking about just like the, the um, third update, like without the Fortnite Mares aspect, it was actually really, it was a really good update. We got the, let's say, shotgun changes to the... Um, we got a lot of stuff with the time machine coming in the storyline really starting to come to play really good i'll give updates this season the same thing like a six out of ten kind of a let down for such a pretty fire season summer event last time i gave the summer event a one this is the fort nightmares they surprised the fuck out of me man they did pretty good challenges are cool didn't i don't really care about the these I, I don't have to do any more of them i've already hit level 200 so i'm good um just Horde Rush coming back, fire. Love Horde Rush. Four Nightmares, fire. It was actually really good challenges. Love the way they changed this clip's escape estate with the actual boss, with the katana, the wood. Just changing everything. The eclipse actually showing up in the map with the blood moon. Just the visuals. Just look, they look really good. And this Four Nightmares, big step up to the last one, but isn't as good as the 2021 version. I think the 2021 version is highly like way better. I gave that one an eight. I gave that four nightmares 2021 and eight. This one is a little bit worse. Just a little bit worse. It's it's definitely a little bit worse. Um, but it's still a like solid, solid seven. I'll give it a seven. I was about to give it a six. Seven. Comp. Now comp had their big tournament, so it's not really as fair for the other seasons to compete with this shit. Comp was kind of boring for me this season. I didn't really see anything like even even if I didn't do all my band stuff I probably would still wouldn't have played shit for comp because it was just not that good Solo of three cups or whatever. They're kind of getting tiring fill cups Zol Zero build cups. I actually haven't seen who won the duo Who the hell all right, let's see who won the um con the, the bill John Who are these people? Who the fuck are these people? Who, who? Who the fuck are these people, bro? What the? Who are, who are these people? Who are these people? Why is Booga and Agers in here? You fucking bit. Why are they even in this tournament, bro? It's a console cup. You can't be in the console cup. What the fuck are they doing in here? Oh my god. Aviv, bro, what are they doing? Bilo and Cam? They're not controller players? Dorito and Yes, <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, whatever. That was, that's something. But yeah, um, they had the mix-up Mondays. Apparently, the mix-up Mondays were not all that. Like, I mean, they had stuff for them. Like, look at this, like, like some of them were just elimination rounds. And then this one was like, oh, you have to catch it. Like a new island one. Oh, wow. So cool. And normal points for some of them. Oh, this one, you have to really place top. Top placement. Top place. It's just boring, bro. Like, make something else. Comp was good. It, it Honestly, I would give it comp, like... Honestly, I think I gave comp, like, the last season, like, a 9. This comp would have been, like, a fucking 6. If it wasn't for the championships. The fact that Miro and Cooper took it home... With disqualifications and crazy, crazy shit leading up to it. It's some it's a really sneaky stuff from Epic that I did not like. We got some cool, we got some amazing stuff. We got, like, all these people. And we're, like it, You know, it's great. I'm, I'm just happy for people. Happy for the people. I'm happy that NA, NA East can take another championship. 
again for once. Fuck. They haven't taken a championship since fucking World Cup. I think. I mean, the last few, even the DreamHack ones, like, EU's took it out. So, at least, we they took it. And even in, like, look, they didn't even get a fucking win in a single round. Bruh, Cooper, Cooper and Mir, they're control players. Like, that's awesome. So, I really like that. All just for that, this comp season was a 9 out of 10. Creative. I got something to say about creative. I don't know if y'all are gonna like this. Creative's fucking lit. I don't know what to tell you, bruh. I don't know. Creative was pretty lit. They had we have some cool stuff coming out. I mean, the last like two weeks we have some cool stuff coming out. Some random stuff, of course. A lot of Final Freddy's maps. Of course, your bullshitty like Mr. Beast, one hundred million dollar maps. Like you know those like pit maps, one v one maps. We have all that stuff, but we did still get some cool stuff. Oh, you got this out of the way flash what's this moon this moontopia thing i just saw this now like what the fuck this looks sick as hell i'll play it i'll play it later i'm gonna play this later like mirror mystery another big murder mystery map alice ogbr <laughs> hey we're already going back to the ogbr map so who cares fort who city like a lot of tight the rise of the tycoon maps but like creative updates like just just talking about like the updates that they added like stuff that they added they added a lot of stuff. I don't know about UEFN, though. UEFN, I feel like, was kind of an underdog. We did get a lot of stuff for, like, you know, Creative one, like 1.0. We got the Eclipse Estate building props. We got the Chapter 4. We got a lot of Chapter 4 props. A lot of Chapter 4 props. Like, apparently we're getting, like, some music stuff. Like, we're getting a lot of stuff even next season. And also this season. I do, I do think that this season for Creative was an 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. I wouldn't say, like, totally monumental, but it wasn't bad. Collabs. Now, collabs are a little different. I'm not talking, like, that, like they added, like, about they added, like, three new people from the Super Hero Academia. That was whatever. Um, This season for collabs, I would actually say it's pretty good. They got me! I'm, and I'm saying it's good because they literally made, I bought a fucking skin that was a collab. The last time I bought a collab skin was, like, two years ago. I haven't bought a skin like this in the item shop. I wanted to get Jack Skellington so bad. Like, there was Michael Myers, Alan Wake. I don't know why they added his ass, but still. Like, for, for the Fortnite Nightmares, they added these three fucking collabs, and that's great. I'm happy they did that. These are good pe these are good people to add for collabs. Like, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is what you got to do for just collab. This is how you make some good-ass shit. We, we, Ahsoka Tano does kind of bring it down. Collabs, I would say, is also a 7 out of 10. Same as last season. Now, what can I say about the future? The future of just everything, we kind of know. It's the OG season. Future is the OG season. We're leaving this map. Thank fucking God. I'm getting tired of it. Um, We're going to this map. I do think this map is a little bit... I think Chapter 4 is a little bit better than Chapter 3. That's just my opinion. But we got the OG Fortnite one-month season. Like That's going to make Chapter 4 so much better. Or chapter one it, it really it's still counted as a chapter four season but it's also classified as fortnite og so is it chapter four or is it just its own thing like i'm so confused what is it what the fuck is this but anyway we got all these cool like people in here I'm, I'm just so excited so i would honestly if i were to give this season an overall rating from all the scores i think i gave last season like a fucking what? okay so I gave the, okay, I gave last season six. That last season was a six. Not great. This season, give it a solid ass eight. A solid eight to a light seven. A solid eight to a light nine. I'm doing Anthony Fantano rankings over here. Light nine to a strong, like a strong eight to a light seven. This season was actually pretty good. Even, like, it, it was pretty enjoyable. I actually enjoyed playing a nice amount, even while not even being online. And I, and I bet even if I was online every day for 12 hours, I would still probably rank this season pretty high. This season was fun. I liked it. But I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back next season to show my opinions that you don't, probably don't care about. But I, these videos get views, so that's the only reason why I do it. Okay, see you guys next time. Goodbye.